Sometimes we take advantage of the apps that we have access to. It's hard to believe that just 12 years ago, the App Store was released with only 500 apps. Now at that time of launch, every single app had two things in mind when designed, quality and pushing the boundaries. And then it seems like overnight we had tens of thousands of apps and the market was getting overinflated. Today, there's a lot of generic apps out there that all pretty much do the same thing. And that's why when I find one that's truly unique, that reminds me of originality and quality, I talk about it. And the app we're talking about today is called Airport. Airport is an app that provides an app store-like experience for beta apps currently being tested before hitting the app store. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at it, so let's get into it. So sometimes developers have trouble finding enough beta testers to test out their app before hitting the app store. Airport provides a ton of exposure and is filling test flights fast. So the app offers two versions, one of which is through a test flight and you can download the app. However, because there is a maximum capacity that's often filled and it's hard to get, there's also a web version of the app that people tend to get access to faster. All right, so diving into Airport, again, this is the web version. I just saved a bookmark. You can see a featured section, much like you would find on an app store, that highlights three featured apps. If you click on one of the apps, you're gonna be brought to its page, which has a full description. As well, it's gonna have screenshots that you can see for the app. You'll have access to the website and the developer's Twitter as well, if they have it. They've also got a section that highlights a new app that have just come to airport. They've also got sections that highlight apps with app clips, made with Swift UI, mental health, more featured apps. Some of the most popular apps that people are using, music lovers, uh, widgets to try that are supported with iOS 14, and then works on your wrist, so apps for Apple Watch. In the navigation, you can see all of those similar things, including a wait list, if there's something that you weren't able to get but was very popular. There's all kinds of apps here. And then as well, we've got categories, much like on the App Store, that show you everything. So if you click on an app and you hit Get, it's gonna bring you to the test flight where you can accept it. And just like that, you can install the app. So I'm gonna give you a link down below if you wanna to apply to download Airport. If you just wanna see new and upcoming apps, take a look at my beta app series, which showcases a lot of the apps that are currently held on Airport. That's it for this video, but as always, remember to subscribe to see more from me and hit that like button because it tells YouTube that this video doesn't suck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.